Hello everybody, Rick Stimpus, Time Traveler here, coming at you in another episode of Planet Coaster. And in this episode, um, well a few episodes ago I did an episode, or I did kind of a personal little thing where I explored how high the sky limit was. Uh, today I'm going to do something kind of similar where I actually explore how deep the world goes while making a roller coaster that actually functions within this world. Uh, as you see, I have my world here. I think it's Alpine this time. I don't know. I built like a little bit of a mini starter world here just so I'd have people moving around while I got my park ready. Or my coaster ready. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is kind of decide what kind of coaster I want. I usually like to go with some of the more traditional roller coasters as far as like, you know, not the straight up or down. Um, so I think what I will do this time is... Since we are going to talk about the, you know, the bottom of the world, what if we went with something that kind of hung down? So, uh, we have this one, the Impulsion, or the Inverted Four-Seater Rifle. The Im okay, uh, I will go with the BOA. Alright, so, the first thing i got to do is kind of get it started and try to figure out which direction. Oh, okay, there it is. I'm facing off this way. Yeah, so I'm going to put my roller coaster kind of close to this path I have here. And there we go. Now that I have it in place, what I'm actually going to do next is... Yeah, we're not going to test it because there's nothing to test. But we're going to come into the terrain editor. And we're going to try and push down the ground as deep as it'll go in here. Now we do have, again, this. I think like if I get closer, it'll just be like, nope, that's the edge. Oh, it'll actually dig down even deeper. Um... But the question is, of course, how deep can we go? And right now we can't, are just kind of pushing outward, but we got to push down, down, down. And the problem is, like, I get too deep, I can't even see anymore whether I'm actually still going down. So at certain points, I'm going to have to widen it out just to say that I am... Whoa. Okay. So am I at the bottom here? I'm not really sure yet. And... I'm also not exactly making this look really natural at the moment, but uh, I mean we can work on some of that as we go. But again, we got to actually reach the bottom of the world. So let's see, are we at the bottom? Can we keep going deeper? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is as deep as the world goes. Which let's see, let's try to met. Oh, hold on. My camera's kind of going all crazy on me. Try to look at this from the point of view of one of the people who might be writing this, and that would be insanely deep. So, all right, let's uh, push down some more of it around, uh, try to even it out, and then I said we're actually going to make a coaster that's going to go that deep, be fun, and then it's going to come back up. And uh, yeah, so give me a little bit of time to sort of follow some of this out. Okay, so now that we got this carved out a little bit, um, I did leave a little path in case I wanted to add some more stuff while I'm waiting for testing and things like that. And yeah, I got people kind of going all over. That's good. So, all right, so now I got a. I don't know. They say place the entrance. Yeah, I'm really not ready for that yet. Okay, how far can this thing go down? Okay, I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more. Whoa. We'll just do 60. We'll just kind of throw in some different things here. Have it go down kind of straight for most of it. And yeah, I mean, if you were on this roller coaster, this would be pretty insane already. Throw in a little curve here for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, things like this can help to sort of slow down some momentum. Now we do have to make sure that we do some auto tunneling, but we can widen out or expand what size the tunnel will be. And let's straighten this out. Because again, what we're going for is a roller coaster that people would actually want to ride, by which I mean they would not get too sick being on, because yeah, I've had that happen way too many times. Now one thing you do have to be careful of as you're building all this is that you don't build up so much momentum that there's no way that people would ever want to ride it. So one good way to do that is to just have some upward points, some points where it's no longer going down. In this case we're going to intentionally go towards the cave just to sort of throw in something a little bit different as we're going. So I guess this is as low as we can go. 
Which kind of makes sense, but I mean, man, we've already dropped a humongous amount here. Can we go down at all? No, I don't think we can. We just have to be content that this is as low as we can get. So now, at this point, we've got to figure out how we're going to get ourselves back up. For now, let's go ahead and do a test and let's see how, how we do. Woo! Oh. But the main question is, how do we do as far as the analytics? Oh, the fear and nausea are humongously huge, so this is not going to work at all. We're going to have to go back and sort of fix this. Alright, so I had a lot of momentum coming down, and yeah. Okay, 30 degrees should hopefully be a pretty good amount. So at this point, we've come down a lot more easily. And let's see, let's try it now. Whoa! Okay, those things are building up nicely. Main thing is they don't stay there too long. Come on, come down. Ah. The hardest part about designing one of these giant coasters like this is that um, you kind of want to get to the bottom quickly, and you know, if you do that, all you're doing is just make it out your Stop that test! So maybe an angle of about. 15 might help us out for most of this. And also throwing in some up, more upward points here and there. I guess I could throw in a loop here and there. I think being outside inside tunnel just makes them a little scared. And... Could also throw in some uh, buffers to slow them down a little bit. There we go, that should have slowed them down a little bit more. Okay, that uh, certainly had an impact there. And, yeah. Okay, these numbers are much easier to work with. Um, since we just added two little things to slow them down at the end of the one turn. The next question is, will they have enough momentum to get past this? And... Yeah! Alright, that worked out pretty well. And... Okay. All right, I can work with this. Now the next question is how far can a car, the, you know, track go up before I need to add in a, uh, some actual tracks so I will lift it. And that's as high as it can go. All right, what angle is that gonna be coming out? Oh, wow. That's gonna come out at all the wrong angles, but oh well. Keep going. Now from here we gotta get it back over to there. Alright, so I guess the best thing to do at this point is get up a little bit higher and then have it like circle back over to there. There we go. Are these in the oh these are like in the red because they're too low. Wow. The guys are just not happy no matter what I do, it seems like. Unfortunately there's kinda no way to really make going up that high other than just to know things are coming. Is this because we're getting close to the top? Is that why the fear and excitement is building? So maybe if I get rid of some of the land. And now to see if the, we have enough momentum to actually get to the finish line. Which I sincerely hope I don't have to do much in the way of reworking for that. Go! can do the station so that it's just on the other side. Okay. And now we gotta mark this. Uh, oh, come on. Seriously? I have to do it once? Uh, Alright, can I put a ride in here? There we go. We got a screaminator. Yeah. There we go. We'll put some hot dog here. And a slush. Now we'll give him an energy drink. And one more thing. A claw machine. Because who doesn't love a claw machine? There we go. Look at that. 
And how's it looking? There it is open. Yeah. All right. Oh look, we got people in line for it. Yay! What I'm gonna do is when it comes back, I'm gonna write it one final time. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, come on, let's go. All right, so here we go. Final ride of it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. All right. Going down around through this little bit of a tunnel. It's actually better that it never actually gets too dark because when it's too dark, you kind of lose that sense of what's going on. But uh, whoa. Those little torches there. Plus, at night, some people can still kind of see what's going on. And let's see how this cave looks with all of its little skull torches. And whoa! Yeah, that works out well. Alright, we come back up here. And admittedly, this is going to be the slowest and kind of most boring part of the ride. Unfortunately, I mean, there's not a lot that you can do to make this exciting. I guess I could have gone for a higher angle or whatever, but uh, yeah, the fact that I wind it out, like I said, you have light means that you can see more and you have that sort of anticipation build up thing going. So that can be really good. Are you people just. Are you the rider screaming? <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. I can't tell if they're upset or need to go to the bathroom. But then again, I really want people who are screaming, don't I? But, oh, okay, I can't see the other people behind them. Whee! Yeah! And then you get that kind of last little view, like, over the cliff of where you just were, which I honestly, it's a bit accidental, but oh, holy cow, got a lot of people already in line for this. That's good. Means that people really do want to ride this. All right, so, uh, yeah, this has been, um, me kind of, uh, designing, like I said, a a fun ride that goes to the bottom of the world um, if you want to do something like this and uh, you know hopefully these little tips can help you to figure out what you may want to build um, the rest of this is just for my own fun I mean you gotta get the people to the park somehow before you know anything else but um yeah definitely want to say thank you for watching uh, this particular video of Planet Coaster I'll see you next time for more uh, fun times. Bye!